Johnny and Gordon, can I come in? Yeah. Come on, come on. Brilliant. So we're obviously talking about food prices. How's it affecting you guys? Notice the, like, the likes of eggs in Iceland. They used to be a pound, now they're £1.30. And um, butter, the love part, that's extortionate now. And are you sort of on it when it comes to money saving at the moment then as well? We look at everything, and even if we're doing an online shop, I'll have X amount of windows open, comparing prices, even comparing it, buying anything for the car. And if there's a couple of pence in it, fair dues, but some of them are a couple of pounds. So anything to save a pound or two. Although a lot of the reasons behind rising inflation are global, like the war in Ukraine, ultimately it filters down to shelves, like here in the Caravan Park shop. Food prices in particular are climbing at their highest rate since 2009. And milk, cheese and eggs are going up the quickest. Another driver of inflation is the cost here at the pumps. Petrol up 18 pence a litre in June. And up in the village, Ian runs this shed known as the Larder, an outdoor space where locals can help themselves to free food. Some people will come every single day, other people will just come occasionally just to see what they say. And others come first thing in the morning or last thing at night because it's open 24 hours a day. Yeah, I lost a job in, in lockdown as well, so you know it came in handy. Before I do a run to the shop, uh, generally most times I'll pop here. Uh, and, you know, to see if there's a loaf of bread, some vegetables, anything that could be picked up, but generally it's probably going to go to waste otherwise. If, yeah, if so that, that saves you a bit of money? It saves a bit of money, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Every penny counts this summer as growing numbers of people in our communities face precarious positions. Connor Gillis, Reporting Scotland, Pitlochry.